Hello and welcome back. We've got another little mini lesson now. As you'll be aware, we've been looking at uh, 12 bar blues in a minor key, in the key of G minor. Um, th those have been the main lessons going out recently. So uh, what I thought we'd do in this little mini lesson is we'll look at some interesting minor 12 bar blues chord progressions because there's quite a few out there. I'm going to play through a few of them and talk you through them and um, show you basically what are my favourite ones. Okay, so the way we're going to be talking about it in this lesson, we're going to be in the key of G. I'm going to stay in the key of G um, just to keep everything nice and simple. I'm going to be looking at a few G minor chord progressions for a 12 bar blues. So the first thing that we would do is we could take a regular dominant 7 12 bar blues in the key of G and we could swap it for minor chords. So we take our G7, our C7 and our D7 and we turn those into a G minor, a C minor and a D minor. And that's the simplest way to get a 12 bar blues chord progression in a minor key. Um, although usually what we do in a dominant seven is we, uh, sorry, in a dominant uh, 12 bar, what we would do is that very last bar, that 12th bar, we'd make that, uh, we go back to the five chord. In this case, because the five chord is a minor chord, we're not gonna do that, we're just gonna stay on the one chord. Now, if you don't understand when I talk about one chord, four chord, and four, four chord, and five chord, please go check out the, um, Essential guides to, to music theory for blues guitarists that I did recently and I'll explain all of that So I'm assuming you've seen that and you're comfortable with me talking about chords being one four and five Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you through that chord progression where we've basically taken a regular G 12 bar blues and we've just turned them into um, minor chords. I'm going to use my um, looper pedal for this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically play the rhythm and then just do a little bit of improvisation over the top and see how that sounds. Okay? watching the first few minutes from an additional video that I make available to the Patreon supporters. Every month I make an additional lesson just for the Patreon supporters and you've just been watching the first few minutes of it. If you're interested in seeing more content like this and getting access to that bonus material then head on over to Patreon and check out how to sign up. The Patreon supporters are the ones that make all of this possible. They fund the channel and keep it all going. So a massive thanks to them and that's why I make this additional bonus content available. 